Hello there guys, my name is Beck and I'm excited to welcome you back to more Fallout 4. In the previous episode we cleared out Corvega, uh, we went over to the guys at Ten Pines, and now we need to speak to Preston. Me. Freedom's always worth fighting for. Apparently freedom's always worth fighting for. I'm supposed to be talking you know to you but you're not actually you talking me to. They've decided to join to me. the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. Oh, dude, we can, we can use it signal for the Minutemen. From any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. Sounds good, sounds so, good. there's something I need to ask you. Okay. Yes, you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. Um, I'm listening. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Nope. What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about it. Well, by now. I was on ice. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs. Nice. On us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. Wow. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. I like his fancy waistcoat. Why do I have a fancy waistcoat like that? One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen. But I think you can. What are you what are you on about? I don't know what makes you think that. Look at me. I look so amazing with my helmet on. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. I mean, I'm trying to be that a kind nice of person. This has been a mighty short supply around here for quite a while. We need someone who can bring the whole commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Um, why me? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't Oh, wait, hang on. That kind of selflessness has been in my... <laughs> That's just the same thing. Yeah, sure, okay. whatever. <laughs> I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside General you Beck of the Shinx Army. Um, I'm going to be sarcastic. So if I'm a general... Where's my arm? Where's my shinxes? I'm, looking at it, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I wasn't joking when I called you. The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. Oh my gosh. After he died back in 82. The last leader was General Nobody Becker. Could agree on who should take his place. It's weird. I'm General Beck. About being the last is, um there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make him more than an empty title. Okay, we'll do, Preston. Got something a bit different for you. Okay. I'm just going to look at you with a wry smile. I can't. Uh, oh, no. Please, game. Our scouts have found a promise. What was that? <laughs> the trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Oh, Once no. It out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it. Oh, we'll start, that's okay. It's more rats, I think. Wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth one piece at a time. One piece at a time. <laughs> Okay, so guys, what we need to do, we've got two we've got two jobs here. We've got taking point starlight driving and getting to the Commonwealth. Bring Jet to Mama Murphy. I'm not I'm not feeding her drugs habit. I'm not. Um okay, so let's check out the map a little bit. So like the Starlight Drive In is Oh my gosh, we've got so far to go. I'm not even gonna lie. Dudes. Dudes, dudes, dudes. Corvega. That's the best way to go. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of a trek on our hands, but if we... We've been here, right? And it blew us up. So, we've kind of done that already? I feel like we've kind of done that already. But, um, okay, so we've already been there. That's fine. Oh, look, it's the vault Tech bobblehead. For luck. Um, and not in any way stereotypical there. The luck of the Irish. Yeah, I apologise, Potato Jim. 
for doing a very bad job with an Irish accent. So we've already been here, like, dude. Does this mean that there's just going to be more mole rats? Because I'm not all about there being more mole rats. Quick respawn of more, more mole rats. Um, I have no idea. I don't see any more mole rats, but there probably are more mole rats. Did we fight the roll mats? The roll mats? Okay. I feel like we just hopped up here and there was mole rats and we killed them. So why is it... Why is it telling... Oh no, that's Diamond City, right? Diamond City, where the girls are pretty. Well, I feel like we've taken this place and it's ours. Did he say set up a settlement beacon? Is that what he said? Let me check this thing out. Clear starlight driving. Oh, nuts. Nutties. Dog, get him. I don't know if that... Freaking mole rats. We didn't clear out the mole rats. But dog's going to do that. And I'm just going to wait for him to come up here. Dog, you, you, you like mole rat meat, right? I'm alright. He's gonna come up the stairs. Yeah, that's okay because we just got a few little gunshots for you, more rat. Oh, it was a crit. Well, it wasn't a crit. It's a crit! It takes him out in one. Uh, I guess it means that they just had to respawn because of the quest. Yes? Or no? More more rats. Oh my gosh! I wondered what that noise was. I apologise if you can hear noise. That's weird. Um, I just I can't hear anything from over here. I'm hoping that they're just going to come over here and chill with us. Get them to kite them over here. Oh, we hit them all right. Yeah, I apologise if you hear some kind of like random noise. Um, oh my gosh, there's loads of mole rats. Get over here, mole rats. What gun have I got so that I can hit them from a great, great distance? Um, my washing machine is... I f actually forgot before I started. My washing machine... This was a really bad idea. <laughs> um, I forgot I'd set my washing machine going. Because I'm um, breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> just real quick. Um, I'm going away for Christmas. And I'm trying to squeeze in two more recordings while I can. Oh, nuts! Well, GG. You snuck up on me. Um, I can't really shoot you with a sniper rifle from this close range. I just need to change my weapon real quick. Uh, no, not the firebolt. Let's just go back to my pistol. I mean, I feel like that's going to take you out. <laughs> oh, well played. It's like um, it's like that scene in Jurassic Park where they're like the velociraptor sneak up on the guy, and he's like, "Well played, my pretty, my precious." Uh, we're good though, he's coming inside. He's coming inside, which we're going to catch him real quick. Hey, roll, mole rats. Uh, yeah. Rabid mole rats, that's even better, is it not? Dead. They're all dead. I'm saving up for that crit for when we need it. I feel like that's it. Yeah, cleared. Dude! And now we need to activate the recruitment radio beacon. So what I did what I did before was I went ahead and set it up. I don't know if I've got the equipment for setting up a radio, radio beacon if I'm to be honest. Um because that involves making a generator and making um a radio beacon tower and like that's gears and oil and stuff. So um I and, and everyone's going to be like but you had all the gears from the from the factory and I'm like yeah but I just stashed them all. I just stashed them all at Starlight Hills, unfortunately for me. Um, and unfortunately for me, Sweet. I haven't put many... <laughs> I have. I did that mistake, that, that really silly mistake of not... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep all of this stuff here in um, Starlight Hills. I have unlocked the station. Yay. Um, I'm just going to transfer all of that stuff there. Um, yeah, so... I made the mistake of setting up a character that doesn't particularly have any <laughs> charisma. Because, like, in previous games, it didn't matter at all. What am I doing? Energy. Um, radio beacon. Oh, I do have some stuff. 
Does that mean that there was already stuff here? That possibly means that there was already stuff here. Which is fine. Um... Oh, and that's my phone. Such a professional. Um, yeah, so, like, there's a perk in um, the Charisma Tree, which enables you to um, transfer stuff between workbenches. Let's get this off the roof. Off you go. Um, but unfortunately, it requires quite a lot more Charisma than I have. And that I'm, I'm able, probably able to, <laughs> to, to get, which is disappointing. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna put, we're gonna put it up here. I don't know what my, um, what my feelings, why I did this before in my other game. So I really, like, I feel like, is that on? Attach wire. There we go. Um, well, what was I going to say? Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I can't, I can't get that perk, which is annoying. And I put that there before. I felt like the higher up it was, the better. I could have put it up there, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. That's done. We've got the settlement beacon going on now. I know that this place. Um, can turn into a really nice base. Um, just simply because there's lots of stuff that you can scrap. Um, there's loads of area here for growing food. Um, so we're going to hope hope that people turn up. Now the other thing that I'm going to do is probably a stupid thing to do. But before I leave, um, have I got any Radex? Because I'm going to clear out all the radiation barrels from over here. If I can. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to take one of these. And I'm going to... Oh, auto-save. I'm going to... There's all these radioactive barrels over here, but I should be good with my Radex. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to clear them out. I can always just take some right away, but... Um, scrap. Scrap. Where's the rest of them? Over the other side. Yeah, I'm taking rad damage right now, but... I just need to clear these off, because then... Then it's not going to be a problem anymore. Where's the rest of them? Oh, there's another one over there. GG. Um, and I could put a water purifier in here. And uh, obviously not right now. And it starts to sort out the sort out the water supply. Are there any more in there? That's the question. But anyway, so technically speaking, because it's like a sinkhole, is there, is there a dead person in there? Like a skeleton. Uh, anyway, so technically speaking, it can can catch water and be a water supply for the base. Is that it? No, it's not. It's a mannequin. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that's Starlight Drive-In. Brilliant. We're not going to do anything else here particularly right now. Um, so we need to travel south. How much rad damage did I take? I don't know. So, I mean, technically speaking, we could jump to Corvega, I guess. Um, and just head south from there. Try and get across the river. Head down to Diamond City. Where the girls are pretty. I've said that once before. I apologise for repeating myself. So let's do that. I can come back and tell Preston that we've uh, secured... Um, that we've secured this place. Starlight Drive-Ins. We don't need to go and tell him that right now. I want to try and make a push a bit further south. Let's see what we can find. I know there are some locations that we can discover on the way. And any map markers that we can put on there that take us further south is good. Um, we probably won't make it to Diamond City. I don't know how long it's going to take. Because it is all that walking, I suppose. But anyway, it's fine. Because we're enjoying each other's company and it's great. I'm just going to turn my phone ringer off as well. Well, I remember... I worry slightly that there's going to be a respawning raiders here. Um, so far, so good. Uh, and respawning everything else. Freaking ghouls and... There's loads of ghouls. I'm not going to lie. There's always like a... So another fine mess you got us into. He's found a ghoul, haven't you? It's a feral. There's loads of ferals over there. Gee, gee. I'm not going that way. 
I'm not. <laughs> I've, I have no interest. Oh, we should have fast traveled to Mystic Pines, not gonna lie. That would have been better. Do you know what? I, I find it incredible as well that I didn't see that cracked pipe, like, when I first played this game. Because it's not actually that hidden, is it, really? Real really? Look how foggy it is. Dude, it's so super foggy right now. Um. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting stuck. I just don't want to fight. I don't want to have to fight like a hundred million ghouls. Because actually, if you get surrounded by ghouls, it really can be a problem. Because they are fast. Fast, fast, fast. Um, there's something in there, but I'm not... We've got a job to do. I'm not being distracted. Oh my gosh, if this was me just lurking about on my own, <laughs> I'd be like checking everything out. But I'm not gonna, because we have a job to do. We need to get to Diamond City. We need to get to Diamond City right now real quick. I can't believe that. I just missed that. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> it's like all the times that I played it. Okay. All the times I spent sneaking around. Look at this. I just love how the highway looks in this game. The freeway. The freeway? The freeway. I think it's the freeway. I don't really... American. <laughs> Why are you telling me to go that way? We need to go... No. Oh, that's the Preston. Let's take that off right now. Um, because I don't want to be all turned around. We need to be going south. That's it. There we go. Oh, I hear noises in my ears. I don't know if we're going the right way, actually. I don't think we can get through that way. Can we get through this way? I need to be really stealthy on my way through Lexington because of freaking goals. Yeah, I think we've hit a dead end. I'm getting more familiar with this place, but that's a dead end too, I think. Is it? Yes. Raiders have, like, blocked off a lot of the areas. I guess to make sure nobody sl slips by them. But I'm just going to slip through this bush. I really want to know what the... I really want to know what the Voltec connection is in this place. And why. Oh, it's that noise again. I was like, what was that? Oh, wait. It's my, uh... It's my washing machine. <laughs> it's my sloshing machine. No. I really want to know what the Voltec connection is to this place. And all of these Voltec... And that... I want to open that chest as well. Um, apartments, Lexington apartment complex. And the fact that in Slocum Joe's there's that elevator that's inaccessible. I want to know what that is. I mean, it could just be part of some kind of random quest as well, I guess. But, I don't know. I don't know, it just feels like it, it just feels like there's something. There must be something. Whether it's like going to be in DLC They've put it there for a reason, though. They, why would there be an elevator in there? And why would there be vault tech boxes all over the place if there, if it wasn't a thing? Right? Why would they do that? All right, so we've got a couple of things marked, jumping out on the map now, down south. So what we'll do... Well, we've got this one that's close, but that's like a, a quarry site, isn't it? Which is bound to be overthrown by a million and one raiders. And to be honest, I'm not... I don't really want to get into, like, a humongous firefight. Um... Not really. There's something over there too. I'm not... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I feel like this place is just going to be full of raiders. <laughs> I feel like every site in Fallout 4 is just full of raiders. Or super mutants. Or ghouls. That's so pretty. Look, at that's really pretty at night, isn't it? Um... Mm. We do need to go south. Let's have a look at the map again. Off to the right, we could follow the freeway and go over this crossing here, possibly. Um, we do need to swing right a little bit anyway, come down this way. Cambridge Polymer Labs could be a thing, couldn't it? It could be. This way and down here. So definitely off to the right a little bit. I don't know what this place is. If it looks raidalicious, then I'm not going in there. It's just, yeah, it's bound to, there's bound to be things. Should we? Oh, what the heck? I've not, I've not been to this place before. Mass gravel and sand. All right. Well, we've logged it. We've logged it. It's been logged, so I'm not gonna. Military signal found. Automated message repeating. 
fire support. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Okay, so there's somebody in trouble at the Cambridge Police Station. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen. Of Scribe Halen. So that's the Brotherhood, right? Yeah, that's the Brotherhood. Let's turn that off. So the bro Okay, so c could we swing by there? Is that like some place that we could? Yeah, it's on our way. It's sort of south, sort of south from here. That could be a thing that we could do. Oh, nuts. There's more freaking gores there. I don't want to fight them. They can't see me right now. Um, if But if these guys at Cambridge are taking, um, fi are taking heavy fire, then we all know where that's coming from too, don't we? More gores. More freaking gores. So we have to be kept... Why do I keep being detected? Who's around here? Some kind of um, wildlife, probably. It's so oh, it's getting dark again. Um. Right. Well, we'll call into we'll call into Cambridge. This place. Oh, it's that rad stag. You see him? I think he's called a rad stag. Um. We'll pop into Cambridge then, I guess. I do worry. I do worry slightly about this. So what we're going to do is we're going to quick save. There's something over there as well. Um. <laughs> this is just like the 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 danger of um the danger of exploring when you're a noob. Okay. Oh well, there's a feral ghoul and raiders. Hopefully they'll take each other out. Right? Am I right? We'll swing around the outside. Yes. Hope for the best. Yeah, do we see there? There's loads of ghouls here. If we're going to do this, we're going to need to take them. We're just going to need to sneak round because... Uh, I'm not going to lie. We can't, like, take out so many ghouls all at once. Oh. What is this? Glowing mushrooms, don't mind if I do. Oh, we could go up to the highway. I mean, that just seems like a trap. So I'm I'm not gonna bother. Right, we're gonna go we're gonna go over here. We're gonna try and sneak our way through this I guess this is Cambridge. Which is cool because I um I don't really know very much about Boston and Massachusetts in particular, because obviously I'm English and um, I've visited America a few times, but I've never been... There's only, like, certain places that I've been to, because, you know, America's huge. Um, and kind of one of the only things... the One of the only references I have for Fallout, uh, for Boston in particular, is um, the TV programme Fringe, um, which I've watched nearly all of, but I've just not watched the last series. Um, oh, my gosh, look. It's just Ghoul Central. Let's see if I can swing around. Ghouls and, that's just ghouls and raiders. So if we could leave them to their own devices, then that would be great. Um, yeah, so didn't they live in Cambridge? Or that there was maybe an episode with Cambridge. And um, yeah, I really like that programme until it, it took a bit of a weird turn. Um, and it, yeah, it was really good at first. Like the first couple of series were really, really good. And then it took a bit of an odd turn. That's the, that's the police station right there over there, is it? With the flags, possibly. Or possibly that's just raiders. Anyway. I can hear firefighting. I can hear lots of firefighting. This must be it. This must be the police station here. So I'm going to hopefully try and help. Um... What the heck? They're under attack by a whole button of ghouls. Great! 
Watch me get watch me get annihilated by freaking ghouls right now. You've got power armor, man. Can you not? For victory. For victory. That guy there, you've got power armor on, dude. You're in my way. Let me shoot some ghouls. Dude. You just chucked yourself on the floor. Yeah, of course you did. Stupid ghoul confirmed. Stupid ghoul, Whoa. stupid ghoul. It's funny because it's true. Stupid ghoul, stupid ghouls. Hope this one, it's next time it's not you. Okay. Target eliminated. Oh, it's Paladin Dance. I only recognise his name because I've seen a video that uh, my friend Buttery Butters has done where he's with Paladin Dance, so... Um, yeah, so that's the thing. No! No, you ghoul! Oh my gosh. Shoot the ghoul, please! We're getting slightly overrun now. Can you, can you not? Can you not, please? Oh my gosh. Right, loot the ghouls. Because, you know, they all have cool, good stuff. I don't know where they get this stuff from. I guess back in the day when they were just normal people. I don't want a spatula. I want useful things or a pencil. Yeah, some some rounds would be ideal. Oh, and a research test tube. See, the ghoulness gets to everyone. From the office workers, to the chefs, to the drunks, to the pool players, to the smokers, everyone. It's not, it's not picky. Radiation's not picky. Can you get out of the way, please? dog meat. Hi, dance. Want to dance? Let's dance. Let's dance. We appreciate <coughs> Short cough to get the attention. What's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a fair... <laughs> oh, lol. my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from Hey, I just saved your butts. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Sanctuary Hills. I'm not telling him I'm from a vault. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. There isn't much over there for us to Brotherhood. Find. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. <laughs> Who are I you? I help, but I don't like this. Really? <laughs> Who are you really? Very well. I'm Paladin I am Paladin Dance, Brotherhood, Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Oh, hello, Halen. Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just... I want your enough. hat. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? <laughs> it's a good plan. If we make it If back. we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Okay, so we're gonna go to Arcjet, apparently. Take Reese inside and find his wounds. Or I just yes, need sir. to actually Please. like say Once you're on your feet. I'm having those stim packs. You don't need them, Reese. I like Halen. She looks cool. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Okay, I will. Open the door, bruh. Let's move out, people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Get up, Night Reese. You'll be fine. It's not like your intestines are spilling out or anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Cambridge, that, that rings a bell from Fringe. I think. I haven't seen that program for such a long time though. I was kind of like, I was put off by like, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but there was this part of the storyline where it all just went really weird. And I just thought, hmm, that's not particularly, hmm, yeah. I liked it at the beginning because it was, oh, I'm going to take this distress pulser, man. Um, I liked it at the beginning because it was all, it was all creepiness and like, Weird science, and I really like that. Like science on the edge, science doing things you didn't think science would be able to do, and investigating it and stuff. But then it all started, like, 
Gladi Gl Gladius? Is that like... Um, what's it called? Oh, portal. Yeah, I'll have those as well, please. Yeah, I'm a hot shot. Shut up. Um, oh. I want to listen to Scribe Halen's personal log. Still Scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. Oh, Scribe Halen. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight Locks of soap really strong over my own moral fiber. Oh, can I just say that I'm quite liking uh, Scribe Halen. She's nice. She seems cool. Because uh, I, I always think that the but people in the Brotherhood are probably Why pretty much mostly just douchebags. But she seems nice. Oh, shut up! He should have just got sh got eaten by feral ghouls. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna take the cherry, but you can keep the rest. And of course, I'm taking the cigarettes for the asbestos. Because who doesn't like asbestos, right? Rounds for me. The guns that I don't use. Because I'm a hoarder. This place is huge. It's absolutely massive. Anyway, let's take the wrench and the duct tape and everything in there. And all of the things, the blowtorch and the paintbrush. And they're like, why did we invite this woman here? She's just taking all of our stuff. Well, in all fairness, Paladin Dance said for me to come in and restock my supplies. So don't mind if I take Super Thought Antifreeze. More... No, I don't want... Well, it's too late. It's okay. Uh, some more wrenches. Um, what is this? Oh, evidence terminal. Dude, I want some evidence. Um, ideas. So it doesn't have anything to do with ideas. Ideas. Could be that one. In fact, that's not helping me at all. Um, there's not... It's not that one. It's not that one. Um, it's not that one. Let's try that. Well, it's not that one either. Okay. So, it's not that one. Could be that. Could be that one. Try it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Whole book sedi sedition logs. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Boring. Intoxication logs. Platinum inebriator beverage. <laughs> Transferred to the trash. Winter holotape. Holotape returned to Agent Mitchell. Boston BADTFL. Mail to Sergeant something or other. Okay. And reckless endangerment logs. I don't know. It's just stuff. It's just, I guess, stuff that it, they've taken. Yes, please. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some... Oh, let's take those handcuffs. Because you never know when you need handcuffs in this post-apocalyptic world. Um, we're taking all of that stuff. There's not an awful lot of evidence here. That Oh, there's a holotape. Uh, Operation Winter's End. Let's play that bad boy. Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. So, our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operation. Let's get to work. Good hunting. Okay, that was interesting. 
Um, we've also leveled up too, which is nice. Let's so let's do that. And maybe call the episode to an end. So let's see. I just really feel like putting more into charisma. Great mentats give you five charisma when you take them. Five, six, seven. So that's seven charisma. If we know we're going to come up against a charisma check and I've made some great mentats, then that, that could be okay. But maybe one more. But then I don't want to just waste them, you know. Um, gunslinger. So our guns do more damage. Yeah, let's do that. I have no idea. I'm just like so randomly picking these things right now. Uh, it's going to take a while, I think, to get us to a position where we can do lots of things. But that's, I guess, the the, the nature of levelling up stuff. So, I mean, we're going to finish looting this place, and then we're going to talk to Dance. And then the episode probably come to an end, and we might try and take on Arcjet in the next episode. Because um, I guess that's the point. The game kind of funnels you in certain directions on your on your, on your way around. Um... So, the only problem... Oh, well, do you know what we'll do? We'll talk to Dance, and we will do Arcjet, but I think... I'm going to need to go back to Sanctuary. Oh, Starlight Driving, maybe, and just drop this stuff off. Um, I know how to take desk fans and telephones everywhere I go. Everywhere that I go. Let's talk to Dance. Let's dance. Excuse me, oh, my gosh. Dance. Why are you what doing are you this about? to me? Um... I'm, are we ready to move out? Um, oh, so he's just asking if we're ready to move out. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do is we are going to end the episode here. Um, I am going to go and just stash all of this stuff that I just picked up. So we've got an em Why empty inventory again. Look at this. Family photo. Everyone say cheese. Waiting for you. <laughs> oh, shut up. Um, yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. And um, shortly we'll be back to take on Arc Jets for some uh, an, an additional episode. I don't know, I'm rambling now. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to pop the like button, drop a comment below, and I will see you for some more Fallout 4 really, really soon. Take care, guys.